Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back once again. It's me, Molt. Super stoked to be here with you guys today. We are playing some more Rush Wars. Let me know how you guys are feeling about the game down below. Um, let me know if you've played it yet. Um, for the people who are stating their opinions when they haven't played it, that's totally cool. I talked about this in the stream the other day. Um, try not to come to a, a conclusive uh, opinion about the game. You know, I definitely think that it looks like Clash of Clans. I think that it looks like Boom Beach. It definitely plays a little bit different in some areas. So while it isn't a completely unique game, it's still fun. It's still fun to play. I've been having a lot of fun with it. The strategies within it are super cool. Um, but today I'm going to go over some of the best attack strategies that I know. Um, so my my last, what I've been attacking with right here is two Zookas, a Gorilla, and then two Troopers. One of the most popular strategies in the game right now um, is actually, I also don't have any keys. I know keys are frustrating for a lot of people, but it's totally fine. Uh, one of the most popular um, uh, strategies in the game is just using Shield Zooka. Um, but I try and, and, and change it up a little bit and have some fun with it, so I think we'll actually do pretty good here. So we'll drop this off. And we'll go one Zooka up here. And we're gonna go double uh, Trooper down here, Zooka in the back. And this is what we're gonna rage up. So we're gonna go ahead and start this one. We're gonna get our little megaphone going and we're gonna go ahead and rage all this. And then we should be able to just fly in here and absolutely destroy it. We just have to take out that cannon. One more shot. Oh, the cannon didn't go down. That's okay, we got a two star. That's good. No matter what, I don't think we can take this because Cannon's going to take out our Zooka there. He just shoots way too slow. Two stars. That's so good. One thing that's good about this game, but also um, not so good about the game, is how quick the battles are. Like, it doesn't feel like you've... Like, it feels like you've accomplished something, but not like Clash Royale where you play for, like, three minutes or Clash of Clans where you have three minutes. Like, you kind of just drop things off you get after it. and yes you can deploy late and things like that um, but for the most part it can seem like very underwhelming in the fact that you don't spend too much time attacking um, we're actually doing pretty good here i'm second in the clan right now 1244 trophies uh, i streamed yesterday for five hours and I wanted to keep keys going. So I put $10 into the game, but otherwise I'm not really gonna be spending any money in it. So we just spent $10 on keys to kind of keep that going so that people during the stream could watch, etc. But this is the main strategy that we're gonna be using during this video. Um, and then I'll go ahead and show you guys some other ones as we play along because it is really fun coming up with new strategies. It's fun finding out new ways to win, finding out how things work against bases, etc. Um, so this guy right here, we should actually be able to do pretty good against. We'll go ahead and drop this off up here. What does he have in the bottom? Okay, so in the bottom, he's got that. He's got a laser down at the bottom. So hopefully we can... Actually, his laser is standing very close to that uh, tower. So we should be able to drop it pretty easily here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and rage all these guys once they get uh, a little bit closer in here. We're taking out those shields very quickly. And now we can go ahead and rage this and watch this Zooka take out this laser. Oh, he died! He died because the laser shot through him. No, 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 Zuka. His hey, Zuka's gonna kill me. They traded. If he hadn't traded, he would have been perfect. So I had my Zuka in the wrong position there. So his laser one shot it. So as you guys are putting things down, you have to look at how they're going to funnel in. And as they funnel in, you're going to start learning like, okay, if they have a laser and my troops are going to funnel this way, I need to know exactly where the laser is going to be shooting. His laser turned and ended up shooting my um, Zooka there. If his laser hadn't shot my Zooka, um, then we would have at least gotten two right there pretty easily because the other Zooka would have pushed his way up um, and helped out the other one. Uh, so here we've got a pitcher. And I am going to go, let's see, we'll go Gorilla up here and we'll go... Zuka right here because he should shoot from across the bridge. We'll put Gorilla. We'll put Zuka back one more and He's got a lot of pitchers over here actually that are gonna cause some Pretty big issues for us. So I'm gonna stack these sideways and we're gonna go Zuka in the back This is actually this is good. This one could be pretty rough I don't like skipping bases because I don't want to spend my money on that um, But you can see that his his pitchers are probably gonna slay. Oh, no, 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 okay. No Zuka Zuka my Zuka was changing his target too much. We got one of them down over there. Go shoot! Dude, Zookas are so slow sometimes. So rage is good here, but honestly, I know it's not a rage spell. We need we need to look at actually what it's called. 
Um, I think what I'm going to use is a heal, so it's called boost in this. So we're going to go ahead, do this, we're going to take this out, and we're going to go with our heal here, which is called he heal. <laughs> So it's called heal. We'll head in here, attack anyway without keys. Now, normally I would say there's no real point in attacking without keys because you're not getting boxes, but it isn't too big of a deal. Um, so I'm going to go, let's see, if he's right here, I want him to be like up top, like right here coming down, and then we'll go Zuka down here. And then we're going to go double right up here with Azuka behind them and we're gonna heal them up at the top uh, I'm gonna take him back just a little bit now we'll go ahead and start and I'm gonna get my heal ready after this pitcher throws once up here so pitcher's gonna throw and we're gonna go ahead and heal and look at that so this time the oh my gosh the laser didn't shoot that time but my goodness are we dead down at the bottom folks come on Zuka do something oh no we're dead <laughs> Lasers crush, but oh seven gold from that so that guy hasn't been beat that much um, Because that would have been 21 gold look at that three stars on replay and we get a defense box nice Let's watch his replay real quick. See how our defense is going here um, Wow, he's gonna throw that down. Are you now watch this? I think we've got something pretty cool attacker disconnect. Oh, wow. Well, it doesn't really matter if he disconnected honestly um, Because he couldn't do anything after the fact there all right, laser, come on. Oh, my laser isn't even hitting him. Nice, Mortar, but watch this. Where is the... Oh, wait, Mortar takes it out? Yeah, because Mortar just interrupts. Nice. Come on, Mortar. Boom. Yo, that one was actually close, but we defended really well. Guys, check this out. I woke up to... I'm going to actually go ahead and open this in just a second. I woke up to like 600-something defensive trophies. Trophies. I have 746 defense stars and 504 attack stars so some of you guys are going to be better at defense some of you guys are going to be better at offense um if you can come up with great defenses and you're not the best attacker you'll still climb in trophies which i absolutely love i also love the fact that the bases change every single 24 hours every 24 hours is a new base so somebody's not going to be able to perfect a base that just can't be beat because it's going to just keep switching every 24 hours which is super cool absolutely love that let's go ahead and open up this defense box and see what we've got in it anything to level up okay so we can level up our troopers here which is perfect because we're actually using them do i have enough gold for it 150 i do have enough gold for it eight more health two more damage and three more damage a second interesting okay two more damage but three more damage a second all right so we'll go last squad again we got that heal up in here i want to try and get some three stars for you guys um we got one on the did i get one on the first match i think we just got two uh which is totally fine wow this guy's literally just defending with shotguns which is actually uh pretty nutty so i'm gonna go i'm gonna go like big boy attack down here like kind of want him to stay alive for a while and we'll go get all them in there We'll start this up, and the biggest thing is going to be healing here because obviously all these shotgunners are going to do a lot of damage. So go ahead and heal right now as they're trying to do all their shotgunning stuff, and you can see that, oh, nice, nice. So we should actually be fine here. Yeah, the ones up top aren't going to do that much. Our, our bazookas are, should be able to take them out from that far. Come on, shoot again. Nice. Oh, yeah, come on. All shotgunners not really going to work too well for this guy from Nova, Turkey. Three star in that guy. That's what I'm talking about. Any gold there? No. So his base has been beat a lot. Uh, out of keys, dude. It's such a sad feeling. You know what I'm saying? Rip, guys. It's a rip. It's a big rip right there not being able to get that gold. Um, we'll keep on pushing, though. Last squad. I really like this one. It's been a lot of fun playing with the gorilla because he tanks so well. And if you have a heal, like sometimes I throw my troopers in front of my gorilla so that they get the aggro and then we can heal them all up together. Um, so this one should be oh nice. We got coach. We got coach here. So this is gonna be real good I'm gonna go ahead and throw both my troopers in the front again And we're gonna go like this coach is gonna be in the back. We'll drag this guy right down here And we'll go ahead and start here And I'm gonna go ahead and heal these guys up immediately because as you can see the pitcher is gonna be back there doing some serious damage But we're gonna be able to get up in here. Our coach is looking really good. Come on. Let's go. Let's go Let's go. I gotta rage him up again. Let's go. Come on stay alive gorilla Yes, coach is gonna almost be full health as well. Oh, no, I didn't even see that. I didn't see the big boy over there y'all Double rockets over there. Do not target my coach 
Oh, no. Come on, coach. Dang it, my coach ended up dying. I didn't even see that defense over there. Sometimes it can be pretty frustrating with people's bases because um, you'll run into bases where all the towers are like in the very back. And then you'll have a base where your towers are in the front. And it's like, well, this is a little bit annoying. People can pretty easily get that. Um, so there are a lot of bases that are more likely to be three-starred um, than not. So that can be pretty frustrating. But um, we're going to do one more attack with this. And then I'll show you guys uh, another strategy that actually works pretty well also. Um, so we're going to go here. And I'm going to go here. And then down. And we want that to cross first so that that tanks. And then we'll go here. And because I don't want the mortar to be targeting any of this. So we're gonna go all the way back here with this. And we'll get that in there. So uh Gorilla's gonna get in here first. He's actually gonna take an insane amount of damage, y'all. Uh, from everything that's going on over here. So oh no, I gotta heal that up so that my Zooka stays alive. Oh that laser, he's gonna it, please tell him, please tell me he's not gonna take out my Zooka. A zero star. Dude, like that guy's base is insane. Look how protected all the towers were. All the towers there were super protected. That was really difficult to get in there, actually. Um, so let's go ahead, switch this up now. We'll go one, two, three, one, two, three. So three and three is kind of what people do, and then they bring this haste spell. Um, and obviously, obviously you can skip bases, but I don't like wasting 10 gold on that, but I guess if you end up losing, you're wasting 10 gold anyway, so it might be smart if you run into a base that you would rather not attack. Um, so we'll go ahead and go, um, here. This is going to be pretty tough, y'all. Just because this laser is going to be insane. The laser's range is, like, nasty. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and rage up this one up here. Um, nice. Okay, so our Zooka down here in the bottom is actually in a good spot. We just have to... Oh, nice little freeze right there. Okay, good job. No, please. Okay, good. So see the laser? He's targeted. He's aiming the wrong direction. So hopefully our Zooka can take him out. Um, we only have one star right now. Nice. Okay, here comes the second. Yes, there goes the second star. Guys, and watch. Zooka might wrap his way around. No, Zooka. Please stay alive. One more shot. Again? Yo, is he gonna? is he going to get it? Let's go, guys. I wish there was a fast forward button in this um, to where you could fast forward at the end right here to where clearly laser's not gonna do anything. Uh, but we're, we're able to take this out fairly easily. So no big deal right there. Knocking it down and getting that three star folks. And then he goes away. One thing I do have to say about this game is that it is the most polished beta that I would say uh, Supercell has released ever if not in a very long time like this doesn't look like a beta game to me like do you remember what brawl stars looked like when it first came out like it was really flat designed it was vertical they came up with a whole new ip for this game all new units all everything it's pretty crazy um and honestly like i'm i'm really proud of them for what they've been able to accomplish um this is another uh, attack that i like using right here with the uh shields and the lasers just because lasers super fun to play with uh he does a lot of damage and depending on if people stack things up too much around like buildings, laser can just slay it out. That's the same with Zookas as well. So this guy's got a laser down here. Um, I might actually go uh, all in down here at the bottom with double lasers in the back like this. And then we're just going to heal it up. So they might get distracted up there at the top. But the biggest thing is we have our heal spell if we need it. And bump. So I'm going to go ahead and heal up right here as he starts shooting and as the mortar starts shooting. I just need... Oh, no. His laser's doing work to us. I need my lasers to turn around. Stop targeting the wrong things, lasers. He's going to hit both of them. Okay, you only hit one of them. Okay, come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, laser. Oh, it's going to be in range. It needed one more shot. Lasers can be kind of difficult attacking, uh, especially if they have lasers on defense because they stack up like that. I probably should have gone top row as well, and I think that we would have been able to get two stars on that one at least. Um... But by far, my favorite is one, two, one, and uh, actually three, three, one, and one, uh, and then having that heal in there. Just, I just like the gorilla. He stays alive for a long time. He's actually really good on defense, too, if you guys were wondering, because he's got so much health, so he's kind of like the practice dummy that just kind of hangs out there and does a lot of damage. So we're going to go gorilla up here, and we're going to go one down here, and we're going to go... Um, 
Do I really only have one right there? I guess I do. Maybe I did this wrong. Maybe I've no, I don't have two shield normally. Never mind. This is correct. All right, so we're gonna send this in here, and Bazooka should take it out hopefully. And I'm gonna go ahead and heal these guys up because I want them to keep their shield for when they run in there to the other guy. Um, so both of them still have their shields, which is huge. That's exactly what we needed because um, now they're going to be alive for a pretty long time. Now, sadly enough, we did lose our gorilla up there, but look at this. We should be able to take out Laser as long as these guys don't line up, and we should be able to stun lock him here. Nice. Okay, so he's... Ah, oh, that mortar's going to slay. We got two right there, but mortar's going to end up taking this down. That super defensive mortar there was really solid, um, but still getting two, uh, two stars there, and... Only two gold, which is pretty frustrating. So what I want for you guys to do for me down below, comment what you like about the game. Don't say nothing, okay, because that's kind of simple-minded. Um, find some things you like about it and then some things that you don't like about it and be constructive about it and share it down below. Things that I like about it is no troop training, um, the fact that you can get trophies on defense and offense and that you have a, a big opportunity to actually push up on defense. Uh, like you don't get a shield like you do in Clash of Clans or anything like that, so you can actually gain a lot of trophies there. Um, things I don't like is that it is fairly similar to some other games that we've seen in the past, um, which can be uh, a little um, un... Uh, what am I trying to say? I don't know. Um, it can be, like, it just feels a little bit unoriginal sometimes as you're playing this, so that can be a little frustrating. Uh, I'm going to heal him up, actually, as he's in there. And hopefully our Zookas can uh, do some good work right there, taking that out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are we getting, Oh, nice. We might. We got that top one down. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. They're throwing too fast. No, one more. One more. One more. Yes. Come on. He's going to make his way all the way around, finish it up for us. There's not going to be any traps down there or anything. And we're going to beat that guy that's at 1,309 trophies. One shot. And two shots, yay! Nice. We actually got some pretty good goal for that one too. I think nine, maybe. So, but the thing is, it do that doesn't. Oh no, zero. I thought that I saw three above that last tower. Um, but yeah, so I really enjoy the game. Those are some of the strategies that I like using. Comment down below what you like using as well. I've seen. Oh wow, this guy three starred me. Let's watch this. What did he use? He three starred me with that. Seriously? Wow. Oh my gosh, those guys just come out there way too... Does he, he's got to have a heal. Yeah, he's got a heal. Yeah, that was a big heal spell. Come on, Mortar. Oh, all my rockets missed right there, guys. Come on, Mortar. His shields are alive for too long. What is going on? Wow. Yeah, well played. So that shows you guys, you can, you don't really have to level up. You can use some of the basic... Here, I'll go, I, I'll go ahead and do that as well just to show you guys. Um, but you can use basic units like this. Um, and actually do pretty well. You can go 2-2-2, two, two, and two, bring a heal with you, um, and attack. So you, even if you don't have Gorilla or anything like that, there are a lot of strategies that you guys can use um, in order to like do pretty well against people because the heal spell with the troopers and the shields actually works really well um, if you time it correctly. Do those mortar blasts. Um, so this guy's got a shotgun. He's got a mortar down there, Zuka over there, and I might actually... I'm gonna, I'm gonna, f do I wanna fully commit up there? Yeah, I'm gonna fully commit up here, y'all. Throw them a little bit higher up. They are also faster, so if you don't want them to catch up, you gotta put them a little bit further back. They should be able to take out this shotgun pretty well, and I'm gonna go ahead and heal up right now. Um, and the mortar's gonna hit, and we're gonna be mixed in there. Uh, we gotta get rid of that Zook. Oh no, please don't, no, don't hit my ladies. Oh no, guys, I only got one. I should have gone towards the bottom and worked my way through. Yo, let's go. No, we just got owned. By Rod. CR team. He had a lot of rockets and mortars that kind of made that difficult. But you get what I'm saying? You saw that guy beat me with it. Um, and we don't have any uh, rockets on ours. You know, I might take her out and let's, let's throw a rocket in here, okay? So we'll throw a rocket guy in here. He'll be right here. And honestly, like, if I already have that bomb down there, it doesn't look like anybody's going towards this bottom area. I'm going to bring this all the way up. Wait a second. Uh, yeah, I might actually do that. We'll bring this wall in here, block that off. And then... I love the walls so much. I feel like they make it, like, super fun. We'll bring another wall just right here to... Maybe I'll put a wall in front of the Zuka guy. That seems super rando. Look, this guy's going to be a lot of damage. I feel like that'll be pretty good. 
Um, but yeah, so that's gonna be it, guys. I really hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know how you're feeling about the game, what army comps you're using, whatever. Um, if you enjoy it, let me know what you like, what you don't like, all of the above. I appreciate it, guys. Y'all are the best. See you on the next one. Peace out.